Hello and it's been too long right? How are you doing? And it's just great to be back. So today I am going to be talking to you about a process video that I've been doing. Now I've been a little bit off the radar for a little while. I've, uh, I've been doing a few TikToks. If you haven't followed me on TikTok, I'll put the link in my bio so you can follow me and you can see what I've been up to. Today I am going to show you that I have been on canvas. Now, what do I think of canvas? At first, it was my worst enemy. I didn't like the texture, I didn't know if I was being too harsh with it, I didn't know if I was being too gentle, I didn't know the correct media for what I was going to use. But over the last couple of weeks, I've been discovering what was the best media. I've been trying all kinds of things. So I started off with a journal. Um, I used a few different media, so I've used Posca pens, gouache paint, acrylic paint and watercolours. I would say in my opinion watercolours are not probably the best idea, I see it likes to drip down, all the way down the canvas. Um, acrylics are lovely and especially with a bit of Mod Podge you can see beautiful texture on there. For those of you who don't know Mod Podge is like a medium that uh, almost you can, it almost like tends it's like an oil like texture um, and it's also a very good dirt solution if you like to paint on surfaces, it makes like a nice matte surface. And I've been using Posca pens. Now, I wouldn't recommend using Posca pens just for one canvas, unless that's your desire, but they're very good for correction. So maybe if you might've gotten a little bit out of line, you can just get your Posca pen and they're actually quite good if you actually wash them down a little bit. I also tried aqua markers as well. Now that's not my strong point. However, that is a future project that I will be looking out to do. And I'll keep you guys up to date and figure out where I'm at with that. So, Today, I am going to show you a few of my canvases. Now, the one I'm going to show you is a time lapse. Now, this canvas, um, this was done a couple of years ago, and um, this was when I was first trying out. And I remember I was using a de-icer brush, you know, instead of keeping it. Cards, they were actually, there's an actual thing, a shovel for it. I actually remember making the waves with it and it was so effective. I don't know if I still have the brush anymore. I'll have to dig it out. If I do, I'll put it on Instagram. Also follow me on Instagram and don't forget to subscribe you guys. Remember you guys make these videos happen. It's your enthusiasm and you, it's you guys who give me the confidence. So please don't forget, don't forget to subscribe. So, as I was saying before I went on to the subscription stuff, and um, this one was done a couple of years ago. Now, I wanted to create like a stormy sea thing and I didn't actually have um, a very good reference to be honest. Uh, a couple of years ago, England faced a storm um, and then I'm based in the northwest of England. And um, I actually went out storm chasing, which was a really stupid idea because I ended up falling up and cutting my knee open. Uh, but I managed to get a picture, but it was very low quality. So I managed to like sort of replicate it. But um, I think for my first time properly on canvas, um, I don't think I did too bad. And I'll show you how I did that. I think I still have the process video for that. If I do, I will edit it in in a moment. Um, but I decided that I needed to look into getting better canvases because you get what you when you buy the canvas you, what you give is what you get so if you pay cheaply for a canvas you're going to get a cheap canvas and it will show on your final production if you will so as i've learned this i've learned to get better brushes better quality paints and just better quality overall and i found that it is much better and i've also been trying out new medias as well um like water-based products alcohol-based products please be sensible and over 18 are uh, the laws in your country don't go off doing stupid things and uh with craft knives as well please yeah i care about you i love you guys i love you i want you to be safe and happy i want you to enjoy what you're doing Um, I started uh, going off canvases a bit and I went into the textiles and I've been doing some sewing as well. Uh, you can check my deep pop out. Uh, I make a few cushions and I'm still at it with my dream catches. Business is slow, but you know, not many people have come millionaires overnight, right? And I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it to share the confidence and the love with you guys. Art is about embracing each other and taking each other in. So, and appreciating who we are to one another. So it's very important that we all remember that. Art is, is culture, it's diversity, 
it's we're in it to help each other and also to find ourselves as well don't forget that and i As I've just mentioned that I think finding myself has definitely come from doing the canvas work because I think I've discovered like my strengths and my weaknesses but I don't like saying that word weakness I, I like um I should probably say developments maybe maybe I'm not as strong but it, there's always time for improvement and development so as I've been going out on my journey as I have I um, discovered that I want to do a Bob Ross tutorial now some of you guys might remember that that is my youtube channel if you go down a little bit uh, there's a picture of me having a go with bob ross and i absolutely loved that i timed myself i also did it in my own time i often find looking at the time quite distracting it makes me feel like i'm in a rush at the end of the day you can't rush art you, you really can't regardless of what it is whether you're doing a sculpting whether you're doing ceramics whether you're doing uh, textiles anything like that anything with minute detail don't rush it it's not worth it you know um and it's Bob Ross, you know, it's uh, it's something special. So I um, I did that and then I left it alone for a while. I went very much back to sketch. based work and I post a lot on my Instagram and I was thinking to myself is this where I'm really going with you know am I just sticking with the same basic medias don't you think it's time to go out your comfort zone now as an artist I think a lot of you would agree with me going out your comfort zone and trying something new is quite daunting and at first especially using aqua markers that was quite a daunting experience for me. Um, I decided to get my gouache because that's like my, my safety blanket and I, I went into the storm with this so I went on to a canvas and I decided that I was going to do a landscape. I find that landscapes are my strong point and especially doing human features are my, my weakest. So I decided to do a landscape and it just was not working. I, I'd start with the clouds and when the gouache was setting it was leaving a very gritty like texture and I, I was looking for a soft like blending in texture which I would accomplish with acrylic paints so what I did was I decided to set my easel up so I had good proportion I drew an outline and I started this landscape and it just went downhill from there So I just looked back, I literally, I, I think I had some kind of brain fart maybe, and I just literally got my brush, I swiped, and I got all these amazing red warm colours and it was fantastic, it worked out fantastically. I thought I need to do something weird with this because it's not your average piece. So the landscape was gone, there was no more landscape, but now I had this beautiful background, this textured abstract sunset, orangey, tangoey textures as well. Wow, guys, it, it was just something to start. It really was a picture, guys. So I um, I decided to draw on top of it and I drew a crushed can. I thought, it's badass. It's, uh, it's different, you know? and i just went more and more and i decided that i'm going to use acrylic so i swatched over from gouache it's, it's too much of a watery based substance for me and i decided to go on to acrylic 
and the blending and the time it took to dry was fantastic and I thought I can do more with this so I thought why don't I use some words I don't use a lot of words and I think typography is very underrated and I think especially if the message isn't very clear in some way I think typography is so effective just by a letter two letters you know it's fantastic and I decided to do visit the badlands and it made it even more like is this an actual place I can go to? Like it added to the feeling of like rebellion and something different, you know? I absolutely loved it. Check out what I did. Next slide. So what did you think? What were the vibes you were getting from Badlands? I don't know if you guys are a massive Halsey fan, but I know as sure heck as I am. So as I started getting a bit more comfort from canvases, I still jot around in my textbook. It's so important that we make notes, guys, and analysis, keeping note of our time and how we can always move forward, you know, and always looking back. Being an artist is always looking in the past, present and future. Always look at the past, look about what you've done, look about what other people have done, look in the present, what are you, you know, what are you doing? You know make sure you know what you're doing have a plan have a theory make sure you like if you go scroll down there is a few videos explaining how you can develop one idea to another it's one of my very first early ones it's actually made from an old vinyl record box so you can tell how you know i'd like to become a little bit more experienced since but um yeah i become a bit more comfort and i'm like there's got to be more i can do there has got to be more I can do. So there is, and I'm like, right, I'm not going to be defeated. So you know that bit where I said about development? Here we are. Like, right, I'm going to do a landscape. So I get my gouache out again, I take a deep breath. I decide to make myself a bit of a, like an art therapist environment, art therapy environment. I light some candles, I inhale, I use my senses and I calm down. because this is bringing a lot of daunting emotions onto me right now. So I set my ease a lot. Um, I put some uh, like quiet music on, some bit of classical music. And I'm like, right, Charlotte, we'll right, Magical Flower Ned, what, what are we painting today? And it was time to do the landscape. And I did it. I did it. And I fell in love with it. It, it was so challenging there were so many hurdles because you start off with the background your base colors then you start working into it and then you start working down and then you you know you start adding them layers of paint and you've got to make sure it's right each time all the proportion everything like that and then I, I i use my acrylic paints as well and then i noticed some things are out of line so then that's when i use my posca pen so i end up using three medias and one canvas and i thought why didn't i think of this before use mixed medias you don't have to just stick with one thing so if we could learn a few things here guys just be creative you know you don't you are your own person remember that you know you don't have to copy what other people have to do remember you are your own artist that's what i really struggled with at first i found that i was comparing myself to others and I'm like oh, i wish mine was like that i'm magical founded i'm a totally different artist i am an artist in my own right so what i i say is right and wrong is my opinion that's you know the, the bit of being you know a, a critic or you know being judgmental but the thing i've learned is enjoy what you do enjoy it in the moment and don't be so hard on yourself remember we're artists we're embracing each other's cultures and some people might like what you do some people might be critical of what you do just remember you've done it and you've made that and that is an achievement in itself remember Lottie loves your baby, remember to subscribe, and remember to love yourself.